have you literally looked into or had someone look into or are they still looking into for you whether you can do warp drive? Oddly enough, some breakthrough on the whole warp drive thing because um, you can't exceed the speed of light, but technically it is possible, theoretically possible to warp space itself so that even on your, in, your, in your local space-time continuum you're not traveling faster than the speed of light, but you're, you're warping space such that space is moving. So Elon Musk actually gets warp drive wrong according to the Star Trek term. Uh, he describes it as bending space such that you get from point A to point B um, without actually going faster than the speed of light. It is actually how Neil deGrasse Tyson himself thought that warp drive was. Watch how Neil deGrasse Tyson responds. Like, uh, I like the warp drive. Who, who doesn't like who the doesn't warp drive? Who doesn't like the warp now, drive? Now, let me confess publicly right now. I have described the warp drive incorrectly in my past. <gasps> <laughs> so we have a confession here. Neil deGrasse Tyson describes warp drive wrong, and it is the same mistake that Elon Musk made, except Elon Musk does not know about it. Watch what happened. Okay. I, when I first knew of the warp drive from the original series, I'm thinking, well, they're warping space, just like I would fold this piece of paper. Just no. like if you're trying to get across the galaxy, which is 100,000 light years across, if it's our uh, the Milky Way, and you uh, and so you warp the space like that. that right? So what Elon Musk and Neil deGrasse Tyson did wrong here was that they used bro science to describe a phenomenon that they should have looked into much further. I know warp implies that you are bending something physically, but uh, you should know better. Like that. That right? is so wrong. But, uh, no, I'm, 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 you you wrap the enterprise but, in a subspace but, field and then you I send it faster finish, than light. Let me finish how wrong I was. Ah. So, so you'd warp the space and then you travel through a little wormhole across, and, then, wormhole. and then you unfold it and then you get across the galaxy during the TV commercial and it wouldn't take 100,000 years. Can okay? I? So then, so, so people must have been timid because I, I was saying that for years. Well, there are a lot of things that you've been saying for years that are kind of flat out wrong. It's just that you are so confident in delivering your messages that people just take you for granted and don't bother to fact check you. I was saying that for years Ooh. until some like, I, some, I, I was at Comic-Con and some Star Trek people met me in an alley and they- <laughs> I can see like, it, I can see it. And they had the, what is the, the-, the Batless? What's that weapon that the- The, 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 the Batless. Batless. Yeah, yeah. Batless That's the big one, the Mechless is a little one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So it was probably the Asian guy who corrected Neil deGrasse Tyson in the very end. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Tell me how the warp drive works. What happens is that the warp nacelles create a subspace field around the ship, which allows it then to slide through ordinary space faster than light. Okay, so the warp factors is how fast you're able to slide through this subspace stuff. So how, what are they warping? It's a complete fabrication. Well, That's right. Warp drive does not exist. You're not bending anything. There's nothing being warped here, and it's a complete fabrication just to sound cool. Well, at least mine had... Yours had a tie. <laughs> this, you this, didn't use your tie. This, warp, is, this is real. The warp thing is a bubble. They at call least it a warp I'm describing bubble. something that's real. So, at, so, so here's... Of course. So I was wrong about the show. Yes. I, I, and I beg forgiveness. But you look good doing it. But if we ever gonna warp space, it's gonna be something like this. Uh, no, if you want to get from point A to point B, there are other ways of doing it besides bending and warping space. You could uh, teleport or use quantum wave technology. Maybe. Maybe. What if we use- Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if we use quantum wave technology? Quantum wave or, or quantum teleportation, whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. Okay. We'll do no. a whole show with that. The, the point is that the idea that we can bend space easier than we can bend ourselves seems to me backwards. But that's just the physicist in me. What do I know? 